uh, welcome back. So this is a sound Bluetooth sound speaker <laughs> and for some reason it doesn't charge. However, I do not have the history so we'll just dive in with you together. So the first part is to open and be able to access that circuit board and to do so we need to open and they figured out that it's for prying out this front face and I used the knife lucky enough for me it's already loose and I am just showing you this so that you know how to go about it otherwise I had already reached inside and that comes off and here we are so we are interested in that board that means we are going to go through opening all these screws right there and uh, having said that let me see where my screwdriver is I think it's here uh, so we'll begin with the first one uh, second one and uh, feel free to subscribe during such a moment where we are simply doing non-technical stuff opening is a very mundane process not too much thinking necessary so take those are out then this is out now drop them down and then I need this to come off now why does it go under this okay let me first pry that apart and see if there's any other screw underneath there have anything there no not much just interesting mechanism and uh, so this should be able to move apart did I unscrew this I believe so nothing there nothing there Bending over is not easy. <laughs> it's where the back all of a sudden decides to complain. Okay. So when you meet resistance, pause for a bit and. Okay. This is weird. Anyway, let me try getting in between. I believe I've removed all the screws and so this should also be able to go off. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> yeah, the screw we are forgetting. Maybe those spots. The last ones. Maybe something. There might be something. No, but this one now would suggest mm. that there must be screws on screws this side. And then, <laughs> and then when I look at this side, <laughs> I don't see it. Uh, so that begs the question. Unless they were put there to distract. <laughs> this is interesting. Let me first figure it out and come back. So we just figured it out and it turns out we had uh, not opened the screw, we didn't see it and this comes apart. So anyway, inside we just have two, about three components. The main motherboard, I've lumped it up as one component, the speaker, the chargeable cell. And then this is just to dampen the sound to give you the effect of bass. Mm and we've taken it out of the frame because we are interested in this sub board and that comes out like that this we need it it's for providing air tightness so that when this is in it's in a, an airtight enclosure so it can move the other passive base simulating diaphragm 
Okay, this is for the rechargeable lithium ion battery, usually 3.7 volts um, when full, about 4 volts. And uh, here we are with this, but first things first, we will need to measure the voltage across the battery to see that it is sufficient for it to be detected. We are going to do that with the electromagnetometer. Place it in voltage mode. And then you have the other. Yeah, okay. Let me put it there. So um, I bring my probes and uh, push in the, the one probe, followed by the next. Okay, 3.9, so this is close to fully charged. And I believe we might be having another issue otherwise. So let me first plug back the battery in. Um, I believe so. Okay. Yeah, actually it is indicated there. <laughs> battery positive, battery negative. Yeah, in the past it was almost a law that they were indicated nowadays. Some people are lazy. Yes, work. Mm. What is the odd thing? We need to take reference from the cover. On is the middle button. And that's this. So we hit it. It doesn't respond to on. So this guy's thing is it's not what he thought it was. Because visually, when you look at the port, it is okay. And then when you look at uh, the terminals that bring power to the port, or that receive power to the port, this is soldered, that is soldered. The signs of breakage. But then for just, let me plug in a charger and measure voltage from the output side. That is also another way of figuring that out. Okay, mm, this is the type of charger it uses. Mm, let me get it plugged into power. Just plugging into power right there, and then we bring that in into the socket. So next thing. I think our multimeter is in frame and we can bring its probes and uh, come at the back. I'm going to measure from there because that is connected to that and that provides me a bigger surface area from which to measure. Okay, get zero voltage. Uh, how about here? I get five. Yeah, which is typical of the charger. Let me go back there and see. Okay, the five is now there. About on the other end of the diode. Yes, the voltage is there. Now on the output of the battery terminals. Yes, we get 4.8. That should charge the battery. So the charging system is fine. Power reaches the battery. That explains why the battery was close to full. Um, so why doesn't it go on now these are the circumstances where the client <laughs> misleads you right in his opinion mm. he thinks it's the battery but it's actually not it's not so it's not actually going now the dilemma is this is heavily integrated so it could just be a problem with that and once it is with that mm. we can't help him <laughs> you can't get that ic around oh, no. Mm, battery. battery, yes. Had I plugged in the speaker last time I attempted to power on? No. I think that's why I didn't hear the sound. Plug that in. Let's attempt powering on again. Nothing. Nothing. So, the only thing we can try is to check if 
it's not powering on because the problem is on the power button otherwise if it's on the IC uh, always disconnect the battery when you're tinkering with this okay so now what I'm going to do is short directly these two terminals um, that will help me know that it's a switch problem go right in this is where I miss my tweezers but I suppose So it had indicator lights, but uh, it doesn't indicate. Plugging mm. again, nothing from the indicator lights. Okay, that's strange. Even the indicator lights for the charging. Yeah, it doesn't. Not even lighting. So that's the problem with these Chinese. They make nice looking stuff. That are not so reliable. Okay, so for now, I'll have to check continuity. Oh, this is running like this. Where? Why did they color this place? Ah, okay, it goes under. Okay, that's so. It goes and passes and comes to the terminal. Mm. Test if that line is continuous. So I've placed it in diode mode and uh, when it beeps, simply that's to show the resistance is under 5 ohms, which would show me that it, it's continuous. So I'm going to tap there from the power button here where it should end on the IC it was which one coming right there okay that's continuous and from this top no, this is the ground okay, okay. sorry this is a Chinese multimeter so <laughs> it has its uh, <laughs> thickness so from that to the ground I don't get anything you seeing some light yeah so this is not this shows me that this terminal should be connected to the ground but it's not unless otherwise but i believe it should run to the ground let me see come let me see oh, it reaches here Okay, let me test one theory. Pull this to ground and see what happens. It's typical for one of the terminals to switch to be connected to the ground. And I'm hoping that this is the case. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Ground. And, uh, okay, nothing. So that doesn't help our cause. Okay, as per the charger, let me also do the ground test on it. There you go. Okay, it comes here. go there mm, first test if that body is grounded now for this one you, you really can't say it's the IC by simply observing usually when the IC is burnt you can see a charred like charcoal like thing that just peels off these are just dots to reference to show you which is the terminal number one. It's 
to be big even without being eating. The ground connection there is fine. <sighs> trick do I have up my sleeve? Let me first test again. So a glow earlier on. Mm. This is bad. The ground. And one of the one of the button ones. Yeah. Mm. The on button. One of its terminals. Yeah. Why is it glowing? Receiving power from my multimeter, but um, how far it glows? Anyway, let me first check this indicator light for charge. This is ground. So this positive comes here to this to that to that to that thing to the light charging. Mm. Mm. Ground. the battery charges directly what's this ANT if I see if there's data sheet for that boom boom boom, boom. see what that IC does ANT Dual current feedback operational amplifier. Yeah, that's EL, sorry. Also use ICs that are a little new. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know that there is that was manufacturing. Times they don't care to upload the uh, data sheets. <laughs> so now there's nothing. what this one is if this one has you can get it VCC and measure if it's receiving power mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, still recording